What's going on everybody, Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video, weekly mailbox clear out. So during the week, anything I sell in the auction house, I leave in my mailbox to clear out once a week, usually on Saturdays, so y'all can check out what I sold and get some ideas on how to make gold from selling, flipping, crafting, transmog, that kind of stuff on the auction house. Now, we're going to look at where we ended at last week and then where we end up this week. And that total is going to include um, like raw gold farms and stuff like that that I'm not going to go over. I go through several different professions. The uh, timestamps for them are down below. But as always, it's going to be better to watch the video all the way through because there's going to be a lot of tips throughout the video that you're going to miss if you're skipping around. And plus, some weeks I may do more on like engineering and not as much on uh, leather working and stuff like that. So I recommend watching all the way through uh, to get all the tips that you can. Keep in mind, I am not a full-time gold farmer. I do do other parts of the game. So the things that I'm showing you here can be replicated. In other words, like I could make gold, a little bit of gold doing something, and then you could do that over and over again to make more. So this is more of a, a broad a spectrum than a, uh, a dig deep sort of video. Um, but with that in mind, uh, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, etc., etc. Really appreciate it. Love the people who are subscribing. The people in Discord, you guys have been um, awesome. I really, really, I'm glad that this channel um, has as many subscribers as it does. I started it, I think, like 21 weeks ago now um, with just thinking, hey, maybe somebody want to check it out. And uh, it's sort of, uh, it's been proven true. I like the community that's building. So if you want to be a part of that, join the Discord uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Um, last week at 9.20 a.m., we had 4,674,000 gold on this one realm. We'll check the other realm about halfway through the video. Uh, I do play on two different realms and then so I combine the totals of those. But uh, last week at 920, uh, yeah, 4,674,000 uh, gold. So let's go through character by character and see what we got this week. This is Ham Sandwich. Um, Pretty much has been my main as far as PvE content and stuff like that. Been running uh, Mythics. Haven't done much this week. Haven't really had time. Um, and I haven't been making a lot of gold on him lately because I haven't been putting in uh, the work. Uh, so let's just see what we got here. <clears throat> Still 5,000 gold. I have a vial of the sands listed for like 41,000. And I used to sell those about once a week. Uh, but I've listed this for like two weeks straight. Nobody's bought it. So go figure. A lot of the stuff is just little things that I've sold from the uh, mission table that I run. Uh, like, you know, some fish and veal augment runes and stuff like that. So all those little things add up over time. Especially now with the auction house merge. They uh, sell really, really quick. Like they'll sell as soon as they put them up pretty much. Uh, Potion of Phantom Fire, I uh, probably just had 20 on me and they were making a profit, so I just offloaded them. Uh, same down here, they were probably making gold at the time, so 2500 and the Contract of the Enlightened, and the Fey Revel Mask. So this is what I'm saying, right? Like, I've, I've made a few hundred gold on this Fey Revel Mask, and then I didn't craft another one all week. This is something where you could be like, oh, hey, that makes gold. Uh, I'm going to craft 10 of them this week, or whatever. It just depends on how... Um, fast it sells for you and, and that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and clear that out. And on alchemy, it has been very, very volatile, right? So uh, this right here, the endless tincture, I actually need to make, uh, I actually need to make another one of those, don't I? What do I need? River bud? Yeah. I actually need to make some more of these uh, because I actually make, you know, look at that, 3,000 uh, gold off of those. And I think that I just haven't been playing enough. I've sold out of all mine, and I just haven't relisted them. So, made a note. Got to make sure I make those. But down here, I mean, you know, like, Potion of Spectral Agility. Uh, you're going to make four gold, but you have to uh, have, uh, what, five Widow Bloom? For, for me, I would just rather go get the five Widow Bloom, right? And then sell them for the seven gold or whatever it is. And then get that gold instead of uh you know waiting for these to sell and getting undercut and stuff like that so you're not making a whole lot based on effort because in the time it takes you to craft like 100 of these to get a 400 extra gold 
you could farm that in Widow Bloom, right? So, not very profitable at this point in the expansion with some of the stuff, but uh, you can make it work. Okay, let's move on. All right, uh, Deadly Wedgie. My plan was to see how much I could make on this guy with uh, leather working and um, skinning this week. Uh, I dropped a lot of gold actually into um, let's see into learning uh, cataclysm no uh, burning crusade um, leather working I dumped some gold into burning crusade leather making and you can see where I dumped it right so it was, I was at 555 and then I went down to 548 so almost 10,000 gold into uh, this guy here to learn up to 285 um, leather working because I got the war bear woolies pattern and I needed to be able to uh, craft them so I did dump about 10k in that and I have found out that while some skinning farms are still doing okay it's not the favorite way to uh, make gold anymore it used to be well not my favorite way because I think farming is sort of boring but um at least it was worth it right so it's it's taking a hit now but nonetheless let's look and see what we got and i want to see exactly what i made on this guy here for the week still got 20k um so yeah desolate leather vest i uh, actually lost gold on that the price just sank for some reason uh let's see desolate leather magnificent hide war bear leather so war bear leather I, I did start farming they're like 40 to 50 gold a piece they used to be like a few hundred sold those um bear flank and somebody bought that i didn't think that would happen um desolate leather this is just the desolate leather stuff i'm making like uh, a few hundred gold on each one they're the level 87s they are still selling i'm making a couple hundred gold here probably made about 350 on this um leather love seat uh this is a good one you can actually craft this this is a legion craft and uh, you learn it and you craft it it uses fell hide which the price is greatly dropped so uh, the profits go up on this Leather love seat made about 2,000 gold on that um, bone bound knuckles these are still selling really well by the way like the ceremonious um, like the level 100 uh, weapons so uh, these sold pretty well probably made about 300 gold on each of those uh, Cobra scales. So one one of the farms, I guess, that has still maintained its value is the Cobra scale farm. The, the problem is, is you don't really get a lot of them when you farm. I think I did like two rounds of killing the Cobra scales in the grand and got one, but that one sold for two hundred and forty gold. Um, let's get down here. Okay, War Bear Woolies. This is what I was talking about. You get this from being. I think you just have to be friendly with the. Oh man, they're like the little bear guys between like Feralis and I want to say Winter Spring, maybe. Um, anyway, you get friendly with them and uh, you can learn this. Now, my other realm, it sells for like 19K. Sells for 4,700 here. Uh, still make about 3,000 gold. So it sort of did pay off, right? I learned the recipe, spent almost 10,000 gold to level up um, leather working, and then uh, I sold one, and then I have another one on the auction house now. Cleft of leather used to be really good, uh, two to three hundred a piece. Sometimes one fifty. Now it's like fifty gold a piece. Um, but this cleft of leather farm, I still need to make a video about it because you can actually get cleft of leather, not hide leather. You can get moat of um, air, which is like fifty gold a piece, which is pretty good, and moat of shadow, which sells for like three gold a piece or something like that. Not that impressive, but there's a lot of materials you can get from that farm. Still a good farm. Um, let's see. Shadebound Gauntlets, probably made about five, 600 gold on those. And then just a bunch of other little um, items here. So nothing really big except for the Leather Love Seat and the War Bear uh, Woolies. So if you get one thing from this leather working uh, portion, War Bear Woolies, need to get that. Leather Love Seat, need to get that. And you're going to be making thousands of gold a piece on those. So let's open all that. And I want to see specifically how much uh, we made just on this guy this week. But the 10k spent on leveling is going to be a big, a big hit, I think. Oh, actually. Hold on a second. 
Ah, we've got more. So the mailbox was just too full. So let's check this out. Um, passed up the total on this, but uh, let's look down here. We did sell some uh, other things. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I went too fast. Uh, so we did get more than 20k. We'll look in a second. Um, but laystone ore. So the laystone ore, um, I had some bloods left over, and I just bought laystone ore and sold it from the blood trader. Uh, heavy Berean leather. This comes from the Berean leather farm, which is still decent. Berean leather is selling for like four gold. I run the Ruby Sanctum. Turning into heavy Berean leather actually um, increases the value. And you can see I sold like 92 here. And this is from like one run probably. Savage leather still going for like four gold a piece. Pretty good. Composite bows making about uh, 400, 300k or 300 gold on those. Uh, thick leather. I tried to get into farming some thick leather and stuff like that. Heavy leather. Um, but uh, stopped halfway through. <laughs> Did some other stuff. So let's open all that um, up. Alright. So let's look and actually see uh, what we have here. Okay, so we want to deselect and just look at Deadly Wedgie. All right, wow. Okay, so <clears throat> actually did pretty pretty good. So we started at 555,000, and that was at 9.34 a.m. It's 9.35 now, so this should be up to date on how much we actually made. So 555,000. 5, up to 586,000 right now yeah so that's actually not bad so that's a total profit of it looks like 34,000 almost 35,000 on this guy and I I probably didn't even do an hour a day on him actually I, I know that I didn't I probably it's probably within about three or four hours I'm guessing uh, that I played total on this guy um, leveling leather working getting some of the patterns and just doing some of the farms so that's actually pretty good um, average per day, 6,000. Top item, heavy Berean leather. Let's me know. I should probably go farm some of that. Top item, Berean leather. It takes me about 20 minutes to run through Ruby Sanctum. Um, to, uh, what is it? 10 times an hour. Average profit per day, 5,700. So not bad. 34, almost 35,000 on this guy. I'll take it. All right, let's move on. Okay, Beard of War, um, blacksmithing and engineering. I say it every week, blacksmithing and engineering has been really awesome. Um, blacksmithing, not only the old patterns for transmog, but also the new stuff still sells, like the uh, the level 87 gear. And the um, engineering uh, has been sort of really bad uh, in uh, Legion, I'm sorry, in Shadowlands. Uh, as a matter of fact, I haven't even leveled it out. There's no real reason to. It doesn't make any gold as far as I know. Um, but the Old World Engineering has been doing uh, really, really awesome. So let's make sure, okay, 29 uh, males. All right, so we don't have to go for a second round here. But let's look at some of the stuff that we sold because there's some heavy hitters here. We're 147K. Auto hammer. Uh, this is a, a legion craft. I think I made about 16 gold each on these. So whatever 16 times 17 is, and that's how much gold came out of this. Uh, fell iron casing. Um, this is just stuff that I found out that makes gold here recently. So let's actually look up. Yeah, so fell iron casing. Well, right now it looks like it's only making 74 silver, but that's because uh, the I mean the price is down. I guess it was making more than that when I when I made them. All right, so random stuff like that. Oh, here's a good one, guys. So yeah, to keep in mind, I don't really check all this stuff. Like I haven't seen this since yesterday. I don't go through all of it every day. So some of this stuff is just as a big a surprise to me as it is to you. Look at this, guys. Mecha Bond Imprint Matrix, twenty six thousand. Look how many of these I sold this week. I sold three this week. For a total of 58,000 gold, you can see the price here, 18k, 13k, 26k. Let's look and see how much we actually, gold we make on that, because this is, this is impressive, guys. This is something that I use my bloods for. My bloods, I can either, blood of Sargeras, that is, I can either use them for steelbound harness, which is 50 bloods for about 25k, or I can put 20 bloods into a Mechabont imprint, imprint matrix. Look at this. 
25k right now this thing cost me about 1000 gold to make and i sold it for 26 so that's like 25,000 gold right there in that one item that's awesome we went a flying machine i made about the 1700 on that as well so that's really good uh yeah that's awesome it's an uh, old school uh mount um some crafted dreadful stuff another mecha bond another auto hammer okay frost tiger blade this is an interesting as well <clears throat> this is an old um craft made you know seven eight hundred gold on that depleted kyparium rocket made about uh 20 actually i want to say it made about fifteen thousand gold on this um so as you can see you got to put in like sixty five thousand gold to make it and then um you know i sold it for 80. i had it listed for like almost three weeks at over 100 but i didn't sell it till it dropped down to like in the 80 range the reason this is so much to cost is it takes three orbs of mystery which are vendor items at uh 20 000 each so 60 000 automatically off the bat plus whatever the other mats are at the time another mecha bond uh imprint matrix and then just some little stuff down here so overall 147k let's open that and let's see how much this guy made actually uh, individually as well because um i think i think it's gonna be pretty dang good so let's see all right one player we want to look at beard of war all right so we had uh one million four hundred sixty eight thousand at 940 and it's just 940 now so right on time to have this be accurate total profit 147,280 so that's pretty good right <clears throat> so almost 100 and almost uh, 150k so not bad at all 116 uh, up from 1,468,000 dollars so that's really good and now mind you i only log in the only thing i do on this guy is log in to check the dailies to get bloods during the week and then craft some things as it as it happens so i think maybe this week i'm going to look at uh doing some more with this guy just because i mean as you can see if the stuff sells it, it you can make pretty good profit okay let's move on Okay, um, Deadly Korda, he is tailoring and enchanting. Now, for most of the week, I've parked this guy at Stormwind because that's where my rep is with the Penumbra Thread. Um, that I buy the Penumbra Thread at like 8 gold and 80 silver, and then I resell it. And I've just been buying like a 1,000 at a time and then posting a 1,000 at a time. And then it sells and I make gold, and then crafting bags. So bags and um, thread hustle is really all I've done this week on this guy. As you can see, lightless silk pouch right here, a bunch of these, deep sea bag, 142. Deep sea bags I'm making like 50 to 60 gold on. Uh, it's a 30 slot bag as opposed to the, um, the current shadow uh lands 30 slot bag where i'm only making like 10 or 15 gold on so deep sea bags been the way to go uh see look at this penumbra thread so 670 right here penumbra thread let's just look up we can actually look up penumbra thread i've sold 73,000 gold worth um and you can see people are buying it in 600 800 1000 759 600 800 426 so <clears throat> pretty good there and uh bags lightless silk pouch actually was selling for 368 right there it's back down to 260 right now um and i think that's pretty much it i sold some bolt of uh imbued frost weave some ember silk stuff flying carpet the flying carpet is like it's a few thousand gold now, I think, but it was only selling for like 200. So I offloaded it for 200 and made like 80 gold. But right now, see, right now it's selling for 250, make 156 gold. Um, it was up to like 3,000 last week, which is crazy. So let's open this up and let's see 
how much I made on this character specifically because I think that's interesting as well. I want to see that. Open TSM, Deadly Quota. Now we're going to have to do some um, manual math here because I think what's happening is, is it's not necessarily showing everything that I spent on uh, Penumbra Thread because I definitely spent more than this. I think it's maybe only showing what I purchased through um, the TSM UI. So we're going to have to do a little bit of manual math. So 472,000 and then we ended up at 479,000. So that's about 7,000 gold. Um, and again, that's just me logging in, buying Penumbra Thread, reselling it, and then crafting bags. So <clears throat> not horribly bad on this one. Uh, just for checking in and spending maybe like a minute or two a day. Uh, let's check out our next one. Okay, bank sandwich, uh, my bank alt. Let's see what we got. Um, this is just some leftover little transmog stuff. Saber Maul hood, valid saw helm of the fire flash, uh, rattling bone war boots, abyssal eel, 4,900. Buy these um, in Storm Song Valley with pet charms. Uh, another little um, transmog here, another abyssal eel, sandstinger wasp, uh, toothy. This came from the Burning Crusade bag, uh, decapitating sword of the fire flash, and ghost iron ore. Just some other little things there. Uh, 19k though. The biggest sellers here, of course, being the pets, the abyssal eels, and uh, the sandstinger wasp, um, all from Storm Song Valley, uh, selling those pretty well. All right, let's open that up and check and see what we got for the week. Okay, uh, we'll have to do some uh, manual math on here, I believe, but that is not going to be too hard. So we ended uh, last week with 4,674,000, and now we're at 4,891,000. So we pop up our little calculator here and uh, do 4891. So 4,891,000 uh, minus the 4,674,000 that we started at. And we're at 217,000 profit. So not too shabby, 217K uh, for the week on this realm. Let's check out our next one. All right, realm two. Uh, we ended last week with 1,589,000 uh, and let's see where we're at this week when it's all said and done. We're going to start with uh, Captain Fantastic here, uh, Jewel Crafter and Mining. Haven't mined anything. As a matter of fact, I haven't even left the uh, beautiful estate here in Bastion. I've just logged on, um, po uh, crafted some items and I've just been reposting them. So let's see what we got. 37k uh, so some of these rings are still selling pretty well this is probably a 233 or 262 shadow gas necklace this is a 291 the price went way down but so did the price for all the mats so I probably made about 4,000 gold on each of these uh, straddling sage agate I still have a couple of those listed make a couple hundred gold on those this is a 262 selling for 5,000 gold made a few thousand gold on that that's still pretty good the uh, rings are and uh, necklaces are still doing really well I'm not selling as fast but they are still selling uh, and then other than that just some um, level 87 rings and uh, necklaces here and another probably 233 and some of these are actually probably even two or level 87s that are selling for a thousand. So still selling pretty well. 37K. Let's open it up. All right. She so got another one. Okay. Shroom and boom. Um, Irving and disenchanting doesn't really matter because I don't use them. Uh, let's see what we sold. Pretty much on this guy here. I just uh, run the mission table and I'm still selling transmog and stuff that i farmed up uh, a while ago and it is still selling i mean some of this stuff i've i've gotten months ago and it's just now selling off but uh that's okay that's how transmog goes a lot of this stuff is just things that i picked up off of uh the mission table here 
and sold off. Bone Shattered Vest. I bought a bunch of these for five gold and I'm just reselling them. Uh, this one only 36 gold. So some of them sell for a couple hundred though. Uh, Umber Hide Helm like this one. Picked this up for five gold. Resold it for 460. The Gunblade. Transmog right there sold for 4,000 gold. Warbringer's Gauntlets. Transmog right there sold for 2,500 gold. Pretty nice. Uh, what else? Warleader's Bracers. Uh, Transmog item sold for 1,371. Altogether, 9,900 gold. Pretty good for just doing your mission tables and uh, reposting Transmog. Okay, Turkey Club. Uh, Death Knight, still not even level 60 yet. Just haven't messed around. Don't really do any uh, crafting. I did craft a bunch of stuff a while ago. I just keep reposting it and reposting it as it doesn't sell. But one thing I do want to show you on here is the Shadow Steel Waste Guard. This was like a level 87 craft, sold for 2,000 gold, which is crazy. All these are level 87s, except for the Ceremonious Blade. It's just the level 100. But I'm making five, 600 gold on each of these on this realm. So again, depending on your realm, you can make more from uh, certain items than in other realms. Uh, this one, they don't sell nearly as fast, but they sell for a lot when they do sell. Measly 4,000 gold on him, but every little bit counts. Let's check out my bank tune and we'll get the final total. Okay, Chubby Butter, the bank tune. Let's see what we got. So in the bank tune, um, I just send stuff that's like odds and ends because I have the mount. So all of my craft and stuff and my characters, I typically just um, list them right there on the mount. But some things I send to this guy if I don't think they're going to sell real quick. Uh, let's see. Tremendous Tankard O'Terror. This came from the Brewfest event that is currently going on. Um, it is a transmog. Sold it for 7,000 gold. Drops from Corn Dire Brew. Uh, 259 Stonecrag Breastplate. It's just a transmog. Crash and Thrashing. Mortar Controller and Roller Controller. These are toys that come from um, rares in uh, Tanan Jungle. Uh, I've probably listed these. I always have a few up in the auction house, um, but I've probably listed these probably two, three weeks before they sold. But there's no gold that goes into it, just pure profit right here. And uh, just some other little tiny uh, transmogs and stuff that I have no idea where they came from. I just kept relisting them. All right, let's open that. 22K, pretty good. Now let's see all together where we are at. We'll have to do some manual math again here. So we'll select all on this uh, realm. And we were at uh, 1,571,000 uh, it looks like. And then, so I had a different number at the start. Maybe I didn't have everybody selected. I don't know. But looks like we were 1,571,000. And then we are here at 1,679,000 or 652,000. So let me change this number real quick. All right. Uh, 1,571,000 up here to uh, 1,627,000. So let's pull up our little calculator here because math is super hard. And we'll clear this out and we'll do um, 162723 minus 1571123 equals 56,000 gold plus the 217 we made from the other realm. 273,000 gold. Not bad for part time gold making, quarter of a million gold in one week. And I had fun doing it. And so let's add up what we have total between both realms here. Our first realm, 4891123. That's the wrong button. 123 plus 1627123. Enter. Six and a half million gold i'll take it six million five hundred eighteen thousand gold uh, a little bit over half of gold cap now i realize it isn't technically gold cap because it's in two different realms six and a half million gold though nothing to bat an eye at 
you're pretty much not limited in what you can do. You can do repairs, you can buy mounts. I mean, you pretty much don't have to worry about gold being an issue for doing other content, even like collecting and stuff like that. Even if you want to buy like your Keystone Master, you want to buy your runs to get your, uh, your Slime Cab mount. I mean, that's going to allow you to do pretty much anything in the game uh, right there. So again, keep in mind that any one of these professions that I've went through, you could dig down deep into them and you can make, uh, more than what I showed you, right? This is just sort of a broad spectrum of some ideas, some things you can put into practice to make some more gold. Thank you for watching. That's going to be it for the week in, um, clearing out the mailboxes. Thanks everybody for stopping by. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, join the discord like the video and most of all have fun it's a game it's supposed to be fun play it have fun with it and i'll catch you all later